Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Boxing Scene's Top Stories, only on Pro Box TV, your boxing channel. I am George Umatellis, and we'd like to remind you that the long-form content on Pro Box TV, you can catch it on the app. Everything on the channel available on the app, where apps are available, and Top Stories is in audio form, where podcasts are available. I am joined by the champions. We got Chris Algieri, and we got Pauli Malinaji joining us here on Top Stories. All right, the IBF has ordered welterweight champion Jerron Boots Ennis to fight mandatory Karen Chukadzian with a target date of November 9th in Philadelphia. But that November date might come in conflict with a fight in Vegas for pay-per-view star Gervonta Tank Davis. We don't know who Davis might fight. We will fight yet, but they're targeting a November date. All right, Chris, why would Jerron Ennis and his promoter Eddie Hearn schedule a fight on the same weekend as a big pay-per-view star like Tank Davis? Well, I don't think they scheduled the same weekend as Tank, because obviously Tank, we don't, we don't have it uh, for sure going to be on that date. So I think they probably just took the date, and it happens that Davis is going to be uh, be uh, on the same date as well, and that's, they're going to go head to head, which is a problem. They should they should move the card because going head to head with a with a, a bona fide pop pay per view star like Tank Davis, when you're trying to get your budding career um, as as a star yourself for Jerron Ennis doesn't make a whole lot of sense, especially when he's fighting a mandatory against Karen Chugazian, who they already fought, and the fight was not very entertaining at all. It was actually one of the fights that Ennis got a, a lot of flack for because he wasn't able to get the finish. Uh, the guy was not really engaging. He was more of a boxer mover and uh, not a, a thrilling fight, not a, a well-known commodity in in, in uh, Karen Chukadzian, or I might be butchering his name. Um, so not a great idea to go against Tank Davis, irregardless of who he's actually fighting. So um, I, I would I would be cautious if I was Team Matchroom because you got a star in your hands, but you need to build them the right way. Um, and that's not really a great idea going head to head with Tank. Yeah, I, I think this has clickbait written all over it. I, I don't I don't know that this is actually the way it's going to go down, even though, you know, uh, allegedly they're both supposed to go on the ninth. I think cooler heads will prevail here. Uh, either Davis's pay-per-view will end up scheduled on another day because, you know, Davis's pay-per-view date is also tentative. You know, we've seen Davis schedule tentative pay-per-view dates and then it winds up being a month later anyway. Right. So so it, this can wind up being the same kind of thing here. Um, and as far as uh, drawing, and it's the same thing. I think they'll probably maneuver it accordingly as well. I'd be really shocked if they decide to go on the same night. Not that we haven't seen it before, not that we haven't seen it during uh, uh, other times, especially in the HBO and Showtime days. A lot of times they would end up going head to head uh, on, on, on many nights where it would frustrate boxing fans. But I don't think... I can't see this one being one of those cases. You know, I, I I would assume somebody with a brain over there would would figure it out and 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 move things over. I, especially in the case of Jerron, because he's trying to build up his profile and and a lot of the fan base that Jamata Davis has is probably some of the fan base that Jerron Ennis wants to attract as well. So you don't want to be going head to head against you know a guy with a with a, a similar kind of fan base. Um, so. I think this is more so clickbait, you know, where it's like, all right, they're they're tentatively scheduled to go on the 9th of November, both of them. But really, nothing's been, nothing's in stone. Nothing's etched in stone. Nothing's been decided. Nothing's been really actually declared fully. And uh, yeah, we're still, we're talking about it. So I don't see it. I don't see it happening. My opinion. Yeah, Jerron Ennis and Tank Davis, two stars in their respective divisions, welterweight and lightweight. We'll see what happens in November when it comes to those two stars in boxing. I'd like to remind you that to scan the QR code, take you to ProBoxTV.com and also download the app where you can watch the best live fight series on the planet in boxing. August 21st, another edition of Wednesday Night Fights. I'm George Dimitellis. This is Boxing Scene's Top Stories. Wednesday Night Fights. Dynamite action on Wednesday Night Fights every other Wednesday on your boxing channel. Coming up on your next Wednesday Night Fights, August 21st. Former Unified World Champion Swift Jarrett Hurd takes on former Unified World Champion Jason Banana Rosario. Live from the ProBox Event Center in Plant City. Get your tickets at ProBoxTV.com or take your chances at the door. Wednesday Night Fights. For more ProBox TV, scan the QR code on the screen or go to the App Store and Google Play. ProBox TV, your boxing channel.